Hey, it's Wednesday! Time for another Action Figure Adventures video here on SEO Toy Review. Today, Baby Skeletor and I are taking a look at the Fifth Element figures made by Funko for the Reaction Line. We've got the complete set here, and we're going to take them out of the package and take a good look at them. Here's the complete set of Reaction Fifth Element figures. Each one of the Fifth Element figures has identical packaging except for the bubble here that says which character is contained inside. We're going to start by taking a look at the bad guys. Here we have Zorg and Mangalore. Zorg is dressed in a blue shirt with a pinstriped suit underneath that. Uh, the details on that is incredible. He's got his tall blue collar and the strange clear plastic plate on his head here. The plate is attached to his head, the collar is attached to his torso. So when you turn his head, the collar doesn't move with it, which is kind of impressive, but also gets in the way of articulation. I probably would have just sculpted the blue piece to the head and let it rotate. Um, he comes with this enormous gun that he tries to sell to Mangalore's people in the movie. You know, he claims it holds 300 bullets and is uh, not detected by X-Ray. So that's a pretty amazing accessory to have there. There's a closer look at Zorg. His incredible accessory. Mangalore is an awesome looking alien. I would have loved to play with this guy with my Star Wars figures as a kid. He comes with two different guns. He has a small pistol weapon that uh, is similar to the gun that comes with some of the other characters, but unique. And he also comes with the much larger weapon that we see him use in the movie to try and stop Corbin. Check out the detail in the sculpt of his face and the lines on his spacesuit. Next up we have Ruby Rod and the Diva. Ruby has his leopard print outfit on and crazy hairdo sculpted on there. He's got some nice jewelry with the necklace and some rings sculpted and painted on the hands. And for an accessory, he comes with his walking stick slash microphone thing uh, that he uses throughout the movie to do his radio show. Of course, he can't actually get it to his mouth, but uh, I guess that explains why he's shouting the whole time. The diva figure does not have separate articulation for her legs, she just has one bend there. Which is interesting, it's not like most Star Wars figures where they put a slit in there anyway. She's very nicely colored, very cool details with the tentacles hanging down. I would have totally made her Bib Fortuna's girlfriend in my Star Wars universe as a kid if I had had her. You know, Jabba the Hutt's guy with the tentacles that uh, is his assistant. For her one accessory, she comes with one of the stones that everyone is after. Uh, it would be really cool if there was a way of, like, inserting this inside her, but uh, obviously that'd be a tough action feature to build into such a small figure. Here we have Corbin Dallas, the Bruce Willis character, dressed in his orange shirt and green pants. This is what he's seen wearing when he's driving the cab. I don't really know if it looks that much like Bruce Willis. In general, with the reaction line, they avoid the actor likeness. It's kind of like the old vintage Star Wars figures where the, you know, Luke's didn't quite look like Mark Hamill. Corbin comes with two accessories. He has one of the stones, as well as his blaster that he can actually holster on his back here. And then, last but not least, we have our two Lilu figures. They share the same head sculpt, but obviously have different bodies to represent different outfits she wore throughout the movie. This Lilu is wearing the thermal bands they put on her when they first create her in that tube thing from the DNA they find. And this Lilu over here is wearing the orange suspender thing that she uses later in the uh, action sequences on the opera ship. Thermal Bands Lilu here comes with the same blaster as Corbin. And she also comes with one of the stones. The other Lilu comes with her little screen that she uses to learn about culture and a stone as well. This has been an Action Figure Adventures video. Do Baby Skeletor a favor, hit that like and subscribe button.